Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today's puzzles are going to be all about colouring. As you can see from Sleuth sitting down at his desk, this time he's managed to colour most of the thumbnail, but um, he's sitting down as colouring what is clearly some sort of sketch, architectural sketch, you know, not really sure what that is actually. But notice the spelling by you for colour, Queen's English after all, but not just because, you know, that's my affinity, it's also because that's how this constructor has spelt it. And we featured Introduction to Colouring by Scree only a handful of days ago, like, you know, actually only three days ago, but only a handful of puzzles ago, less than a handful of puzzles ago, and we're back once again with more of the same type of puzzles. Let's take a look at what it is. This is, after all, why we're all here. So we have an expansion on colouring by Silver Scree. And we've got the following set of rules. So, normal 6 by 6 Sudoku rules apply. So that means place the numbers 1 to 6 exactly once in every row, every column, and every 2 by 3 box. That's obvious. We also have XV anywhere in the grid that two adjacent cells sum to 5. Oh, sorry. Anywhere in the grid that two adjacent cells sum to 5, a V is placed between them. And you can see an example of that here, an example of that there, there. There's a few of them. And essentially it means if this is a 1, for example, then this has to be a 4 to add up to 5. Similarly, cells that sum to 10 have an X between them. I see none on the grid, unless my eyes are deceiving me. And all possible X's and V's are given, so negative constraints apply, which also means that none of the digits here, none of the, I should say, um, dominoes here, any two cell dominoes, are adding up to 10. So 4 and 6 are probably the only two that can add up to 10 in a 6x6 six six Sudoku puzzle, and they are never adjacent, never orthogonally adjacent. Okay, that's good to know. So, Kropke. The white dot sits between two consecutive digits, and not all possible dots are given. Well, it's a fairly set, you know, straightforward set of rules. I mean, it, they're easy to understand and comprehend, but somehow with this limited rule set, this empty grid, we're meant to be able to solve this entirely using logic. Now, if you're up for the challenge, if you want to color this grid together, link will be in the description down below as per usual. And with that said, let me restart the clock and see how we get on. So the key thing to all of this, I imagine, is if you think about fives for a moment, they can either be a 1-4 pair or they can be a 2-3 pair. No other digit will really work. 5 clearly will not work. 5 and 0, 6 and minus 1 will also not work. Fairly obvious. Now, the important part is that because there's only two sets that could work, a 1, 4, or a 2, 3, you can go ahead and color them. And I guess that's why, you know, Scree is pointing us in that direction. So I'm going to color this set blue. I'm going to color this set green. I will almost certainly use letters at some point. Otherwise, I, I always feel like if there's more than three or four colors, it's just an overwhelming amount of information. So now the question is... What do I do next? So I'm going to say neither of these are green. So this cell here can't be there, otherwise it would be a V. Can't be there, otherwise it would be a V. This cell can only be in here. Which also means these two blues and one green must be down here. Now, if I put a blue in the center, I would have to put a blue adjacent to it in one of these two locations but there is no V between them, and remember, negative constraints apply. So in my mind, this means that the two blues are separated by this digit, and therefore this is green as well. These are blue. We have, you can see, two blues in row four. We need some in, blue, in row three, so these are the two blues. No blues left in here. We need a blue kind of in a diagonal sort of formation in here, which... We'll need to figure out at some point. Let's talk about greens. Um, can we even talk about greens? Yes. 
this cell here can't be in either of these two, otherwise again it would be a V, so that's the remaining green. These two are clearly different, this one is clearly the same. This digit can't be here, otherwise it will be a V. Can't be there because we've already placed two, v, two greens in column two, it can only be in here. Again, no V, can't be there, we've already placed them all in box one, this is the other green. Place them all in here. We need one more in one of these cells, and I and it's actually a blue-green combo. I don't know the running order of them, but that's what we have. And then we have a blue in that diagonal shape I described. So if this is blue, this is blue, and this is green. If this is blue, that's blue, and that's green. Okay. We need a second blue in here. You can see it can't be up there. We've already placed two blues. Um, it can't be adjacent to this blue, it can only be down here. We've ran out of blues in this column. We need a second one in here. Can't be adjacent, no Vs. So that's the blue. I imagine this will disambiguate it because that's clearly, if that was a blue, we'd have a V. That's the blue, that's the blue. This is not anything. We need a few greens though. They're not in here. We need one in each of these rows. So you've got one in row four, sorry, row five, one in row six. So we need one in this row, one in this row. They can't be in the same column. So this is definitely green. That isn't, we've got two now. That's the second green in this box. Now we need one more green at the top and I'm fairly sure it can only be in here. That doesn't work, we've already got two. We've already got two. That's the only one that's left. Now, Probably for my sanity, more than anything, I am actually going to place some letters just to help disambiguate a bunch of things for us. And I obviously don't know what these numbers are. All I know is, you know, just normal Sudoku. I can kind of complete it fairly quickly. Um, have I done them all? Almost. There we go. Now, we've got this white crop key dot that's meant to help us understand everything. Actually, I think we also have one other clue. I did say that, um, actually I'm gonna use color because all of these are fives and sixes. We've already placed essentially the digits one, two, three, and four, but that's not very helpful. What would be helpful though is trying to color them. So I'm gonna go for orange and red that's red, that's orange, that's surely red here, orange there, um, red, orange, red, orange, red, orange. Now, what I did say, though, is the six can never be next to a four. And what I know is one of these, whether it's the A, the B, the C, or the D, is a four. So what I'm interested in now is, is there one of these colors that's never adjacent to any of the other cells? So if you take a look at orange, it is adjacent to A, C, and D, orthogonally adjacent. It's also adjacent to a B. So if this was the six, we have broken this puzzle because at least one of them is a four, and will be adjacent to the six, and there is no X between them. So orange is absolutely a five. Red is absolutely a six. Now we can use the same logic. You can see the six is touching this C, the B, the A, but my guess is it's never touching the D. Let me just actually highlight the D. And you can see it is never touching the six. That's our four. Therefore, that's our one. Um, four can only be next to adjacent to a three or a five. That's the five, that's the three, and that's the two, and that's the solution to today's puzzle. Fairly quick one. I'm kind of glad that I'm actually doing two a day at the moment, but fantastic puzzle. Just absolutely phenomenal. So thank you, Silver Scree. Um, it is an enjoyable one. Um, I kind of wonder if I would have been able to do it with just 
colors rather than letters, but I, I really do find it overwhelming when there is six colors on the grid. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's puzzle and today's video, and I guess look forward to the next one because we're going to continue with two a day until the next weekend. Um, bye for now and see you for the next video.